ஆர்டிஸ்ட் அண்ட் மியூசிஷியன்ஸ் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டல்மேன் வணக்கம் நமஸ்காரம் அண்ட் குட் ஈவினிங் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஐ வில் லைக் டு கங்க்ராச்சுலேட் ராவி ஃபார் பீயிங் அவார்டட் த ஓஏஎம் டூரிங் த லாஸ்ட் ஆஸ்திரேலிய டே செலிப்ரேஷன்ஸ் திஸ் அவார்ட் ஐ திங்க் இஸ் ஓவர் டியூ அண்ட் இட் ஷுட் ஹேவ் பீன் அவார்டட் லாங் லாங் அகோ I also wish to thank the organizers for inviting me to speak in this occasion. Normally, I would have refused this offer because I am not very good at this. But since it's for Ravi, I found it hard to decline, so I accept it. I'll try my best to say something that you can tolerate. Please bear with me for that. because i have to keep up to ravi's quality which is pretty difficult <coughs> firstly it puzzles me why i was picked to say these few words the two other speakers who spoke before me had something to do with art and <coughs> and i think they have appeared on stage for performing something related to arts for me i have never i have a very scant knowledge of music they hardly know the difference between the different ragas and the thalams and the names that you call for various musical attributes the only remote connection i have is that i sit among you as one of the audience for many concerts and programs mostly at the last row and listen to the music sometime doze off and he won't snore ravi has caught me once <laughs> but not today <laughs> one of my friends sometime back told me that when i snow it follows a rag and a tal i do not have the name for it i'm i'm not telling you to illustrate my musical ignorance and stupidity here i am looking at it at a different angle to pay tribute to the type of music that was able to make me relax and put me to sleep think just one moment whether it's possible for you to relax when you are in any other concert like pop bollywood reggae or even western hill classical music normally you will be agile active moving sometimes dancing but with our music all of us are able to relax quite peacefully and often enter into a semi meditative state without we even knowing this is something we have taken for granted this is the power of our music which the world has begun to realize some time back i took an australian friend of mine for an arrangement so of one of ravi student and he remarked that he was able to experience this calmness when he was listening to this music very fortunately we are able to <coughs> experience this treasure due to the hard work of some pioneers who brought nurtured and taught this art form to many so that it is practiced and performed by our youngsters i will pick ravi as one of those pioneers who did this honorable service in victoria possibly in australia the society's power does not depend on its numbers but on its ability to contribute to the country we from the subcontinent have done <clears throat> more than our share when it comes to education economy food various professions even in religion but when it comes to classical music and sport i should say we we are a bit behind ravi has laid the foundation in closing this gap in introducing our music to the mainstream australians perhaps that is why he was chosen and awarded this OAM this year i have known ravi for many years the first time i saw him was when uh, my good friend uh, chandra kumar he invited me to sit in his car and talk while his son was uh, learning mridanga prasan i was learning mridanga in the migrant resource center in pran and when he was leaving the center he showed me showed him to me and told me that this is the mridangam maestro who is teaching mridangam to many youngsters 
I looked at him, he looked very ordinary, and he, looked, he got into an ordinary looking car. So I didn't take him seriously. <laughs> <laughs> then we moved uh, close to each other, and I got to know him very well, and we became very good friends. So we are like uh, in each other's household. During this time, I was able to closely watch how Ravi and his family progressed in all aspects of life. I too know Narmada very well uh, and her family very well. She hails from the same town, uh, Manipai, and I, my family knows her family very well. Ravi's father too was an alumni from my same school. In those days, Ravi used to organize and perform many musical programs involving renowned artists in houses, in the lounge rooms, in the rumpus rooms. We arrange the furniture, sit on the floor, and listen to the music. And I also remember us babysitting the kids when Ravi was performing in various functions. This is how close we were, and I still cherish his friendship and relationship up to today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be failing if I don't say a few words about Ravi's character here which adds flavor and style to whatever he does. The discipline that he practices and enforces on his students and the commitment to the quality that he, he has is remarkable. The hard work and the love he has for music. These are the qualities and attributes his students are exposed to and I am sure they all have picked these characters and adapted them in their day-to-day -day life. His reverence to his guru, I need not mention here. I do not know how Ravi was able to balance his work, family and music, as well as his profession and progress so far in all aspects of his life. Friends, many of you, I am sure, know about Ravi and his family's hospitality. When you visit his house, it becomes your house too. Everything is very informal, natural and you move freely among them. I must tell you, Ravi, Amma used to give me a vade. She normally hides it somewhere and takes it and gives it to me. <laughs> many, of you have, many of you have received so much of advice, counseling, and mentoring from me, especially the young, young ones, when they try to go out of track, you all approach him. Some of you may not know Ravi's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Madhya Barnam, a very remarkable, humble people. Their life was just Ravi. I had very close relationship with Ravi's dad. I sit with him and talk for hours and hours. And when my back pain, I sit on the floor. And one day, Ravi entered the room and saw he on the, on the chair, I am down, get, receiving some sort of a blessing or something. <laughs> so that's, a, that's how close we were. And um, I'm sure today Mr. Um, his dad should be looking from above and she would be see, seeing one of his dreams come true. Ravi had turned out to be exactly as his parents would have wanted, to, wanted him to be. I'm deeply touched to see Ravi dedicating this prestigious award to his parents. That too speaks about his character. Before I conclude, we have decided to present Ravi with a small memento for this occasion, and I feel it should be done according to our tradition. It should be presented to him by somebody worthy, so I have decided to call somebody to do this honor. This person is not going to like me, he is going to hate me for this, because he hates publicity, he works hard, contributes a lot, but never will get, never will come on stage, not a showman. I know you will not like this. You have helped me and others in so many ways. Please help me to do by coming to the stage and pres present this plaque to Ravi that will add value to our gift. I simply couldn't find a better person. Please, Dr. Kumaru Yogeswaran, can you come to the stage, please?
plaque reads, Congratulations to Madhya Avarnam Ravichandra OAM uh, for the award of the Order of Australia Medal 2012 by the Commonwealth of Australia in recognition of services to the fine arts from the students, past students, parents, friends and well-wishers, 11th February 2012. gentlemen and all the distinguished artists, friends, elders and boys and girls. It gives me a great pleasure to say a few words here. There are so many people, let's remember while receiving these sorts of awards, we should also remember there are several other people who are doing lots and lots of work in the community, in this world and they're not being acknowledged one year for one reason or other. Let's remember them and let's work on those people who have really made a difference to the community in Melbourne and Australia. So as a community, we should also make efforts to recognize them. And thank you so much for your kind words. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sri Skandaraja, for your kind words.